Hey guys, welcome to the 110th C Sharp tutorial that I'm making for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to read XML more. So, in the previous tutorial, we only read XML files that were on our computer. So, we had the users navigate to that file and then select it. Well, in the previous tutorial, I told you that you didn't have to put the path to the file on your computer, it could also be a URL to the file. So I uploaded the XML file that we were working with in the previous tutorial to web.com. So as you can see right here on this web page, we just have our XML file. So now we can just um, pass the URL to that XML file through instead of pass the file on our computer. And this should work just the same. So let me just comment these out because we won't need the open file dialog if we already know where the file is. So now we should get Adam. Because on this web page right here, people, person, and then Adam, or in the name node of Adam. So should it work just like before? We should get Adam in a message box. Yep. And if we were to change this to age, we should get 15 in a message box because inside of this age node we have 15. So we should get 15 here. Yep. And as you can see, it was a little bit slower than reading it like off your computer and that's just obviously because it has to download the web page so just keep that in mind if you ever plan on uh, reading it off of a web page instead of off your computer. Alright so up until now we've only been looking at having one person so we only have one person stored inside of this people node. Well what if we had multiple people? So if we had another person let's say named Bob Say they're just 18 and their email is leadbob at gmail.com. So instead of having to deal with only one node right here, we now have to deal with two. So if we were to just use this code before, we had before, then we're just going to get only Adam because it'll select the single node and then it will just go to the first one. It won't go to the second one at all. So now we're only going to get Adam. We won't get Bob as well. No, we only get Adam. So what we're going to have to do is create a for each statement to loop through each person node inside of this people node. So what we're going to do here, we're going to say for each XML node, so just a node, so for each one of these person nodes, let's call it node, in um, xdoc.select nodes, using the select nodes method, and this will just return an XML node list. So It'll just basically be an array or a collection of XML nodes. And now we just have to give it a path to that node that we want it to look for. So since there's multiple person nodes, we're going to say people slash person. So we're looking for multiple person nodes. So we're going to say people slash person. So now it will return a collection of all of the person nodes inside of this people node right here. So now we're just going to have a message box display the name for that person. So we're just going to say node, that XML node, dot select single node. And then since we're already inside of this uh, person node right here, we don't have to say people slash person since we're already inside of there. We can just say name. So select this name node and then get the inner text of that so we can get the person's name. So now we debug here. Click this button, select that XML file. We should get one for Adam and one for Bob. Adam and Bob. And this will work if you have a bajillion people. If you have like a thousand people, it'll read it just the same. So if we have another person here, just say name Rick. And we have another person named Joe. We'd get all of them. We wouldn't. Oops. We, yeah, we'd get all of them. So this is really handy for uh, having, if you have like a huge XML file or something. Adam, Bob, Rick, and Joe. Perfect. So that's pretty much it for this tutorial. So see you guys.